Good morning there YouTube. Um, what we got today is we got our new uh, lawn tractor today for Williams Lawn Care. Um, there came a kind of a discussion with me in my own head uh, rather than dialect in my own mind. Uh, yeah, I'm just that crazy. Um, about what to buy, whether to buy new equipment or used equipment, commercial or residential. Um, and honestly what we used was our tax money to buy the tractor. I knew I was going to need something with a little more wider area cut. Um, I don't need it. I was going to want it just for uh, my own ability to be able to last through a day. I've got delusions of grandeur maybe as to how big and fast we're going to grow. Um, but what I wanted to do was to, to get a wider area cut, something I can handle a larger distance with, more stuff with, and and uh, but I was also on a budget. I had to make sure I got something I could afford. So it came down to newer used. I could buy a a used walk behind, you know, like a Skag or something belt drive for about the same price as this tractor I bought. But my experience in life has been my thought would be as an automotive technician, would I want a uh, a used DeWalt drill or would I want a brand new uh, Black & Decker drill? Well, I'd rather get the brand new Black & Decker drill. I, I'm just, I've got a warranty to go with it. I know what I've got with that. Whereas buying anything used, you're never 100% sure what you got unless you really know the person and the equipment really well. And I'm not in that position to, to know that. It'd be Craigslist buy. Um, and it's been my experience. There's usually a reason why somebody's selling something and a lot of times that reason is because it started giving them problems and so they go ahead and get something new so I thought the lower grade brand new is better than a used higher grade at least that's been true with my experience and maybe not always I hear a lot of people say buy a commercial grade used equipment over residential new equipment but I've owned uh, Cub Cadet tractors in the past, so that's what we decided to go with. I'll show you here in just a second. Uh, Cub Cadet tractor, the new LT and uh, or XT Enduro series. I'm hoping it's going to be good. They've got an improved deck design, things like that. I I really like what I see out of it right now, and so we're we're going to film cutting the yard. The yard's not much to cut right now, but we're going to film a little bit of that. So. Uh, you know just see how you know just to run it more than anything not to see how it works but just to play with it because it's a new toy and I want to play so we're gonna do that so here's the tractor it's the uh, Cub Cadet XT1 Enduro series I have not seen any reviews on this tractor where anybody's bought it of course it's brand new they just came out with it um, and in the past and now one day I'll sit down and share a little more of our story how we got to this point in our life later but in the past we did have a full-time lawn mowing gig I mean I was cutting yards professionally and I had a Cub Cadet uh, XT1046 I think it was called or the I I1046 Cub Cadet tractor and 46 inch cut and I really liked it it performed well um, it lasted several years before I, I sold it and got out of the business altogether. Um, and for reasons I'm not going to go through on this this particular video, we we got we come back into it. I'll go over that later. What we got it does, and and I I hear let me get over to the other side of the trailer. I hear different people say different things about these Kohler engines. Me personally, the Kohler engine I had before, I forget exactly what it was, but it was this same grade. It was a twin cylinder instead of a single cylinder. But it was a Kohler Courage. It was a 22 horse, 24 horse, I forget. But I really liked it. It never gave me any power issues. It worked well. I never had an ounce of trouble out of it. Of course, I'm a stickler on maintenance with anything I own. I'm a stickler on maintenance. Um, so. Uh, I think that this mower ought to hold up well enough for me. Um, it's got LED headlights. Like I said before, it's an improved deck design. I didn't check to see if they're greasable spindles or not on this one. I know on my old one they were greasable spindles. If they're not, I'm not going to really like that. Maybe in the future they'll have an upgrade for that. Uh, 
but it is supposed to be an improved deck design and I know that I've seen where they've had lots of deck issues on the Cub Cadet tractor so um, hopefully this one here won't give me the old one but mine was the old design that people had problems with and um, I put you know three four hundred hours on it over the course of, of three years or so and never had a problem with it with my I, I did have to replace spindles a couple times I guess once or twice I, I put a couple spindles on it over the life of it but like I said I grease them every 10 hours or so whatever the maintenance schedule was so looking at it I think I'm going to be pretty happy with it the big feature to me is there's a couple things one Cub Cadet puts a three-year bumper-to-bumper unlimited hour uh, warranty on this tractor which to me is big Another thing it does have right there it does have an hour meter you can it does have the feature um, to where you can turn the blades where they cut in reverse uh, I, I like that um, so three-year unlimited hours bumper to bumper warranty and a five-year chassis warranty that's the best warranty in the business on lawn tractors commercial or residential of course they knew I was cutting with it commercially they would cancel that warranty um, but you know I'm not gonna tell them so shh, don't tell them the other thing is versus the one I used to have the one I used to have the gas tank was in the back and so the gauge was back here so when you're mowing you don't have any idea here the gauge is right there with that comes something I don't I love that I can see how much fuel I have while sitting in the driver's seat the one thing I don't like is that fuel tank is right there behind that engine if there's a problem I run into something if something breaks it comes back into this or this gas tank gets punctured or, or any kind of leak at all comes out of that gas tank down in there it's right there by the engine a hot engine grant the exhaust is on the front but a hot engine the gasoline right there I just don't that kind of I don't like that I think that's probably not the but I think that's probably not the best idea um, this thing does have the 16 degree turning radius one thing I found before the i1046 was a zero turn tractor now it was a tractor based like this steering wheel seat the front which I like better than the traditional zero turns just because I have arthritis in my back and the zero turns are more rigid a ZTR is more rigid and they don't flex as well as a tractor and they're not as comfortable the tractor is a lot more comfortable but I, I found I didn't really use it that much as a ZTR because it would leave divots in a yard so I used it more like a tractor and um, so it's got a tight turning radius and that I can go forward and reverse and mowing with and forward and reverse and so I'll use it the same as anybody else they are a little slower than the commercial ZTRs but I think it will get the job done especially to start not to say I won't go to a commercial mower my plans are next year um, with tax money to buy a bigger trailer this trailer here is a and I'll do some more as I do some work to this trailer do some more videos it is a 5 by 10 trailer it's adequate to get started I'm just getting started I uh, uh, plans are next year to buy a 14 foot trailer um, and then after that the next plan is to get a, a 36 inch walk behind and then after that look to upgrade the tractor so the tractor will be three years old at that point hopefully it'll last that long upgrade the tractor to a commercial grade equipment right now this tractor here was fourteen hundred dollars tax and all was under seventeen hundred bucks out the door for this tractor so that's kind of why I went with it I can afford that with my tax return this year and and not just break the bank and that gets me started and that's the key is to get started and uh, with no debt so I own this tractor now repo man is not gonna come take it away there's no debt to go with it I own it and so that's why I'm starting with it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and put some gas in it I'm gonna check the oil and all that kind of stuff I'm gonna get it off the trailer and let me show you the yard the yard doesn't really need to be cut it's got a few leaves in it so that's what I'm gonna do Cut mine and the neighbors there just run the tractor through it see how it cuts up leaves I did try to get the mulching kit for it but the mulching kit they have is for the 2014 tractors they don't fit the 2015 tractors so I'm gonna have to go to Cub Cadets website and see about getting a 2015 tractors mulching kit 
for that XT Enduro but we're just going to run over this and I'll let you see it just hear it run just to play more than anything I just want to play with my new toy um, I'm excited to have it I'm excited to, to to get this lawn care business going that that thrills me I'm just really anxious to get it going um, to be doing this again not to be nailed down to a shop where I'm working on cars, been over cars all day. I'm outside getting fresh air, doing what I want to do, doing what I love to do, and that's and I love cutting grass. That's that's just this is one of the, I've done it since I was seven years old, cutting people's yards. Um, so with that, I'm going to get the tractor off and uh, and then show you some of that. Another thing about this tractor versus some of its competitors is I know what you're thinking, 14, you know, 1600 bucks, 1700 dollars out the door. If you're going to go with this in a uh, homeowner grade tractor, there's cheaper ones out there. Well, one, this thing has a hell of a warranty. Two, that seat, and I'll show you that seat a little more in detail in just a second. That seat is a big part of it to me. It's really comfortable. And then three, this one has the hour meter which I like so I can really be, because I'm a maintenance minded person, so I can really keep an eye on the maintenance. Another thing, uh, I know to the commercial equipment, a lot of that has five gallon gas tanks, maybe even bigger, I don't know. But most of the residentials I saw had less than two gallons. Like a gallon and a half to 1.8 gallon gas tanks. The Cub Cadet XT has a three gallon gas tank. So whenever you have a lot of property cut, that extra fuel, One thing I didn't do, that I probably should have done, was read my owner's manual. Oh, she's perfect on the oil. I um, probably should have read the owner's manual, but we're going to go ahead and get a start on it anyway. This is something kind of neat. The engine air index says the lower the number, the cleaner it is. 10 being least clean, 0 being the most clean as far as pollution it makes. This thing is at the lower half. It's for California only, but I'm in Tennessee, but I still think that's pretty cool. It's it's not a high polluting mower. So, there we go. I guess that says something for it, huh? Okay. Stuff here. That's the uh, for the shoot grass shoot on the side. Okay, well, as I was saying before, looking at the seat, the battery is underneath the seat there. But looking at this seat, the way it's made, 
it does move forward and backwards and it really fits my back nice it's comfortable and I, I like it as to how all this stuff over here works I'm not sure yet I'm gonna have the owner's manual out later I know that this here is for the uh, the deck height this I'm not sure exactly what that's for I'm gonna have to get that out maybe that's the blade engagement that's got to be what it is it's got a manual blade engagement instead of electric PTO I don't care as much for that I'd rather have an electric PTO but it is hydrostatic reverse here forward there the old tractor I had and on the 2014 models the hour meter was up here which I liked better you could see it when you're driving it that right there that hour meter is down here low I don't like that as much choke pretty basic standard old run-of-the-mill stuff it does have cruise control there's the parking brake now turned off so you can have the key in my pocket may have put the key back in the van Let's see here well might have to go to the van and get the key be right back okay there's so this is the spare key it's got another key with a big nice yellow handle traditional cub cadet keys um, let's see choke on brake on
this section of the yard you can see it actually without a mulching block mulched this up and made quick work of it cleaned it up pretty good this section over here I didn't do I started to do but new tractor baptized in mud I had that right there is my boot prints where I had to stand in there and right there that hole I had to stand in here see my boots are all muddy mud all over me had to stand in there and actually pick the back end of the tractor up and rotate it out and get it out of the mud Okay, so this wasn't really a test of the tractor. Uh, I plan on going out to the church and mowing the soccer field here next week or so. That's pretty tall. Some of that stuff is as tall as I am. That'll be a good test of the tractor to see its cut quality and strength. Which I'm sure it'll do fine. It's brand new. It ought to do fine. Just so you can kind of see the, the tractor. baptized in mud on his first day so it took all of about you know three five minutes to to run that over real quick mulch that up you know no bigger than that yard is well, I'm happy I like it the tractor's got a nice big meaty look to it a nice meaty feel to it and it the steering is extremely responsive um, Man, it's they, when they say they worked on tightening up their steering, making it more responsive, I must agree. Um, looking at that, you'd say, oh, it's about the same as anything. When you're driving that joker and you're turning it, let me tell you something. Is it, compared to other tractors I've driven, it is extremely responsive. It does turn very tight. Um, I think it's going to be a good tractor to start our mowing business with. Um, I don't, you know, I think I'm going to be happy with it for a little while. Again, I understand it's a commercial, it's not a commercial grade tractor. It is a residential grade tractor, but I think that this was the smarter purchase than buying something used and inheriting somebody else's problems. This way here, I get my own brand new set of problems, and those problems are covered under warranty. Yeah, uh, I've heard other people talk, oh, they won't come work. Well, no, they won't come work on it. But that's what the trailer's for. I can put it in neutral. And uh, I can pick up the back end of that thing if I need to. I can hook a cub along to it and drag it up to the on top of the trailer, whatever I got to do. And I can make that happen. I'm not so super concerned about that. I'll make it work um, to get it up there and get it worked on. And in the meantime, I'll be mowing with the push mower, the old Honda. Um, which is still going to have to work some anyway because there's a lot of gates that the 42 inch cut even won't fit in. My well, one I had before was a 46 and I really liked having that wide cut make short work of big yards. There was a lot of gates that wouldn't fit in that this one will fit in. And again there's been a lot of gates this one won't. That's why here in the next year or two hopefully a 36 inch walk behind will be in our uh, budget and we'll be able to buy one maybe even this year if, if things work out well we'll be able to, to work in a bigger trailer and a 36 inch walk behind but again I don't like buying my equipment that I'm gonna go out and work hard every day used I'd if I can afford it I'd rather buy it new and they got the snapper pro 36 inch walk behind for forty three hundred dollars brand new so I'll save for that trailer I'll buy used and I'll buy a used truck or something like that but this stuff here, I just don't need to be working on it every day. I need to be driving it every day, running it. And uh, I was happy with my old Cup Cadet. I think I'm going to be happy with this one. So that's the end of, of this little review on our newest edition, the Cub Cadet XT1 Enduro Series. With the uh, let, me, let me do this while I've got it off the trailer. I can open this up a little wider, maybe. You see that? motor's pretty quiet you saw it run some it's not too loud and that we'll get a better test of its power in the next few days uh, when I get out to the church and of course I'll video that some too and uh, so ends our uh, number three mowing video of the season 2015 um, season hasn't really actually started yet but there we are so far I think I'm gonna like it until next time.